Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. He's been identified as Jonathan Audi, who became a U.S. citizen last year. He faces charges for multiple felonies, including attempted murder of law enforcement officers. Good morning, sir. Mr. Audi, you were arrested. This was his first appearance in court where a judge denied bond. The subject came in, removed the flag from a flagpole at the rear of the uh, of the complex and uh, brought it into the hotel lobby and draped it over the counter and began to, uh, to yell out uh, anti-Trump, President Trump uh, rhetoric. Investigators believe the suspect wanted to lure cops to the hotel. It appears that he was trying to uh, engage our police officers, some type of ambush type of attack, trying to lure our police officers into this gunfight. Um, he did succeed and he did lose. Adi was shot in the leg by responding officer. Things about the man accused of going on a shooting spree in the middle of the night at Trump National Doral. Police are calling it an ambush attack. Somehow, nobody was shot except for the suspect. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Doral with the latest on this investigation that has the Secret Service now involved. Hank. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Now, the guy involved in all this that shot up the Trump Durrell here, the Trump International here at Durrell, has an interesting background. Businessman, realtor, and porn actor, performer. Let's take a look. Lots of questions about this guy, Jonathan Ode, who police say shot up the lobby of the Trump National Doral, which earned him some shot up legs. And for the one time porn actor dancer, a ton of legal trouble. 4187 reference an active shooter. After midnight Friday morning, Doral police and Miami Dade police officers roar into the Trump National grounds to the reception area. The subject, police say, pulled a fire alarm, began shooting into the floor and ceiling. And that's when Jonathan Ode got shot. Doral and Miami-Dade cops took him down. Luis David Gonzalez said he and Ode often worked out together at a Doral gym. I him to be like, a, a, actually like around 10 years, 10 years, 11 years around there, or maybe a little more. What type of person is he? He's a good person. Gonzalez says Adi never been violent, that Adi was a comedian, dancer, entertainer. Listen. He's an entertainer. He's an entertainer? Yeah. CBS4 reporting, as an entertainer, Jonathan Adi worked for DancingBear.com, a porn website where men wearing costume bear heads have sex with large groups of women. Just a normal guy. He was like a bodybuilder, so he looked like always working out. I Interesting background there. Now, one police officer was injured in all this. He broke his wrist during the uh, shootout. No one else injured whatsoever. The uh, crime scene, as you can see behind me, it still remains very active almost 24 hours later after the shooting. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News. Back to you. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Monday. So it is a lot going on right now. If you guys do not know, this video has been viral for a few days. Um, I finally got a chance to literally sit down and watch the entire interrogation over the weekend um, about Jonathan Odie. And this situation is insane. As you guys watch the news clips at the beginning, um, it initially took place five years ago. So I remember when all this went down at the Trump Hotel where he was in there while and out, he ended up getting shot and everything else. And I remember when this interrogation went viral years ago, a lot of people thought he was just a lunatic. People dismissed him, thought he was crazy. And then what was so funny is that there were also blind items concerning this man. You know, there was a girl who did a blind item on him back in March, even before this went back viral, before the Cassie lawsuit. There was a blind item floating around as to where he got his money, how he was broke before, and then he ends up, you know, coming into all this money. And they're saying that that was because um, Diddy burned him with an STD. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this blind item really quick. You want more? 
I'll give you more. Speaking of P. Diddy, I'm going to start with the related headline first because P. Diddy and Donald Trump show up in this same blind item. So the man in question is Jonathan Oddy. Yes, he sure is odd. I saw that dancing bear made the news again recently. The last time I thought of that club is when the guy who got an STD from the male producer slash rapper ended up getting $1 million in a settlement and used it to buy a bunch of property he then sold. This was the same guy who got involved in a gunfight at a golf club owned by this former A++ lister and was shot by police. So Jonathan Oddy allegedly got a stid from P. Diddy <laughs> and was awarded a $1 million settlement for it and then also decided to take a pew pew into Trump National Durrell Golf Club because he was obsessed with Melania Trump. Who needs Vanderpump rules when Florida exists in real life? All right, so you guys just watched that blind item. So like I said, the Jonathan Odie case is coming back to our attention because of what Sean Diddy Combs is going through. So what is crazy is that a lot of people are going back and watching that interrogation with fresh eyes. This interrogation took place five years ago, okay? And basically everything he's describing, he's talking about being a sex slave for not only Sean, and he says his name's Sean. He does not call him Diddy. He doesn't call him Puff Daddy. He calls him Sean, which lets me know that he has some type of connection to him on a first name basis. He says that basically he's the um, sex slave of Sean and Cassie. Cassie Ventura, and that, you know, they're involved in the boule, which is an aspect of the Illuminati. We've talked about this on this channel. Um, he also goes on to talk about Rick Ross, DJ Khaled, and how a lot of these guys are sleeping together. Um, Jonathan Odie is from South Africa. So I, he looks like he has some black in him. He's very racially ambiguous. What's very interesting is him just basically talking about, you know, the whole sex act and the things he was forced to do with Diddy and Cassie, but also the fact that he worked on the porn star website, dancingbear.com, which is a pretty popular website where women freak off with dudes who are dressed in like bear mask and they just do all types of disgusting things. And so... It looks like that really makes sense to what Cassie was saying in the lawsuit. The fact that she used to have to go online and search for these type of men for Diddy. And I have to also shout out Samaya05 because she was on this story back in the Discord on the 14th. And she was adding me and saying, I can't wait to see if you're going to cover this old confession tape from the sex worker that used to do freak ass with Diddums and Cassie. And was the same guy who shot the Trump resort in 2018. It all makes sense. Thus, the man called everything out, especially Rick Ross, DJ Khaled, being gay and pushing drugs in Ciroc bottles and putting them on private jets to avoid customs. My God. One other thing that Samaya found, a connection that she put together was in Cassie's music video, Cassie Don't Play It Safe, You See a Bear on the Couch. Okay. Again, truth is stranger than fiction. I think she's been putting out little hints out there, but was too scared to fully expose everything until now. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch some of his interrogation. Check this out right here. Satanic ritual, which is basically CIA mind programming techniques. Mm -hmm. She's own family, kids, drugs, etc. on the group. Puff Daddy? Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, he's part of what's called the boulet. The Boulet's a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. The feds are raiding P. Diddy because they know for a fact that Gene Deal and Cassie told them about how he got the security footage from when everything happened, man. That Diddy downfall just got crazier than anyone could have imagined after a video surfaced of former S worker and adult movie star Jonathan Audie telling the police during interrogation that he took part in freak offs with Diddy and Cassie and that these freak offs were actually Illuminati rituals. Now, the really crazy part is that this interrogation took place back in 2018. So this was five years before Cassie filed her lawsuit. And yet, a lot of what Jonathan Jonathan Audie said back then matches Cassie's allegations. But that's not all, because Audie made a bunch of other wild claims about Diddy during his interrogation, alleging that Diddy is a part of something called the Bull, or the black section of the Illuminati, that he kept him as a sex slave and gave him a huge payout to stay quiet, and much more. By the way, this interrogation took place shortly after Audie was involved in a shooting incident at Donald Trump's Doral Hotel and Golf Club in Florida. And though he got arrested and charged, no one knows what happened to him or where he is now. Woo, the plot just keeps thickening, so let's break it down. I had to with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would they would talk about what I do with Cassie. What they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV with people and stuff. And I'll be in the I was like a
Slave, okay. The Diddy situation just took another wild turn after social media users unearthed the 2018 interrogation video of former S worker Jonathan Audi, where he pretty much corroborated everything Cassie said in her lawsuit. To give you some background, Jonathan Audi was being questioned about the Donald Trump Doral shooting incident, which took place in May 2018. Jonathan was identified as the man who opened fire on police officers at the Trump National Doral Miami Golf Club in South Florida. According to the Miami Herald, Jonathan, who was originally from South Africa, got into a firefight and chased with police while ranting about Donald Trump, Barack Obama, and bizarrely, rap mogul P. Diddy. Jonathan suffered a police gunshot in his leg and was taken to hospital. He was subsequently charged with several counts of attempted murder of law enforcement officers. Police say he then got into a gun battle with responding officers who shot him in the legs, sending him to the hospital. There were more than, I believe, two on to um, uniform officers in addition to the unarmed security guard who threatened to kill as well. Now, the Diddy connection becomes even more interesting when you read this report by the Daily Mail, which says that before being arrested for the shooting incident, Jonathan Audi was a stripper and an adult movie actor and worked for the adult website Dancing Bear, which produces videos showing women performing on male entertainers wearing plush bear costumes. And as you probably remember, Cassie revealed in her lawsuit that Diddy forced her into free golfs with male S workers and made them all wear masks. But things got even crazier after a video recording of Jonathan's interrogation resurfaced online. Diddy said Ross was a good buddies, okay? Mm -hmm. They 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 gay. Ooh. Both Diddy and Ross and Cabin. They all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly Rick Ross yeah. and Diddy? Yeah. They're all gay? Yeah. Gotcha. I know you may or may not I know you're gonna believe me. Um you have what's called the Illuminati. Illuminati. Um, Illuminati. Illuminati. Okay. The Illuminati. Okay. They've made it in dance. Basically what it means illuminated. Okay. Okay. Um they do Satanic rituals, which is basically CIA mind programming techniques, which is their own family and kids, uh, etc. in the group, and they bond that way, okay? Blood sacrifices and everything in the Bohemian Grove, okay? Right. And the Bohemian Grove, the bushes go there. Um, George C. and George, both of them are in the same agenda. Um, they caught they cousins with the Clintons, okay? So is Donald Trump, he's a distant cousin. So all these family ties, well, I'm not go back to the same place. The royal family in England, okay? The, the family here of the Illuminati are descendants of the royal British family, okay? The, how do I know this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. How do you know this? You know Sean Combs. Of oh, Daddy? Yeah. He did whatever he called himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The Boule is, the Boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. Okay. Uh, I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay. okay, you're my brother, so I like black people. Okay. My, my mom, I was raised by a by an African woman in my house. Okay? okay, she was just a servant, but she was my my own. She, you know, took care of. Me. Right. So I love black people. Okay. okay? Um, I had settlement with Sean. Okay. Um, I had settlement with Sean. Okay. Okay. And he belongs to that agenda. That's what's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his turn, which are. Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. Ben Mercedes worked for Bad Boy Entertainment for four years and for Hillary Rodman for five. Okay. When I I take charge of the threat of death on me, okay? I don't have it, but I can make it available under secrecy. That means that I wouldn't be liable because I don't want to be getting framed for anything, okay? Um, I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would master me tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like with Cassie, I had like 15 encounters, and I heard lots of business. Because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on TV, he was speaking and stuff. And I'll be in the I was like a slave. Okay, for them that's what I was. That's all. All right. Um, I caught herpes, and I came back and I seen for the herpes and won, bro. They didn't want, did Mark Erebus and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Neons here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. Yeah, true. It's possible, I'm not sure. Now, my settlement put me in a box. Basically, I couldn't talk because I was going to be sued. So I let it be, but they've been following me, and they've had Mark Garrow has had uh, the FBI on me, has had other people, other agencies looking at me and spying on me, okay? Because they want to set me up as an extortionist, like if I was doing Sean for money, it's wrong. Basically, what happened is, Diddy said Ross, which they good buddies, okay? Mm -hmm. They they 
They came. Who? Both. Eddie and Ross. And Kevin. They all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly, Rick Ross, yeah. and Peter. Yeah. They all gay? Yeah. The Ciroc agenda, okay, is basically binge drinking poured out on a yacht. They promote binge drinking and drugs. Gotcha. Um, I seen a little bit of cocaine. I've tracked it myself. Having sex with Diddy and Cassie. Okay, it's not good. He drinks all the time. All right, he called it GG. That's a little bit of cocaine. I've settled five, four point one to five million dollars with Diddy. Okay. okay, was he scared that I wasn't exposed? I Allegedly got a stid from P. Diddy. <laughs> and was awarded a $1 million settlement for it. However, these reports haven't been verified and it's unclear whether the FBI is actually investigating Diddy. And if they are, they certainly wouldn't announce it. Either way, fans are now saying this Jonathan Audie confession is a huge deal because he said all this five years before Cassie filed her lawsuit. And a lot of the things he mentioned match her allegations. Now, what's also very strange is that there is no information available online about what happened to Jonathan Audie after he was charged over the 2018 shooting incident. All the articles that reference the event are from 2018. And while these articles confirm that Jonathan was formally charged, it's unclear whether he was sentenced or where he is now. But wait, there's more. On December 15th, just days after multiple celeb blogs reported on Jonathan's connection to Diddy, a website called FuneralBitsMemorial.com published an obituary to Jonathan Audie, a Doral, Florida resident. However, the post looks very sketchy and there is no information on the time, place, or manner of the alleged death. Now, regardless of whether Jonathan Audie was telling the truth during his interrogation, the fact that there is zero information on what happened to him after he was charged over that shooting incident is just insane. Some people on social media are saying he's still in jail, but there are no credible media sources where this information can be confirmed anyway all right so you guys just saw those clips now as far as jonathan odie we do not know if he's alive or dead some people are saying that he was killed a few days ago other people are saying he's still alive um you know he literally shot up a hotel so you would think we would know he's in prison right it's like there's no concrete evidence as to where this man is at you would think we could just do a prison lookup and find him because I'm assuming he'd be in prison because of the shooting that happened. So there's all types of rumors floating around. People are saying that he was killed. Um, he was talking too much. And after the interrogation, you know, he was put out of his misery. I also noticed that if you do anything concerning Jonathan Odie's death, it's a bunch of strange people in India who are talking about it. So I don't know if these are people who are being paid off of Fiverr to try and throw off the Americans, but like all the websites look very suspicious. Everything links back to India. There's all these Indian influencers, but they're not really influencers. They're just random Indian people talking about it. This is the strangest shit I've ever seen. Like, goodness, you can't make this up. Assalamualaikum, welcome guys. YouTube channel, News. सो so गैस आज की वे हमें सोशल मीडिया पे बहुत ही बड़ी बार वीडियो मिली है तो सोचा दोस्तों के साथ शेयर कर हेलो गैस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बहुत ही बड़ी अफसोस ना खबर जो निकल के सामने आ गई है खबर कोई जाने जाता है बहुत ही बड़ी जानी मनी शख्सत का हेलो गैस वेलकम बैक टू माय च बिफोर दिस वाचिंग मैं लेस न्यूज़ अपडेट तो एक वीडियो जिस शो में डियर पर बहुत ऐसे वायर होने लगे जो अभी भी निकल कर अस्सलाम वालेकुम फ्रेंड्स कैसे हो उम्मीद है कि आप सब खैर और खैर जैसे होंगे you know, I'm not sure what really happened to him, but this entire situation is insane. And this is why I always say that truth is stranger than fiction. Another thing that's also being discussed is Mama Combs. Now, y'all know I've never liked Diddy's mama. Something about her energy has always run me wrong. I remember a few years ago, I did a video about Diddy giving her, you know, a million dollars cash, a brand new Bentley or some mess like that. And it pissed me off because I'm like, Janice wasn't in not one studio. Janice didn't write not one song, but you're gifting her with a million dollars. Meanwhile, your old artist who got you and Janice Combs into the comfortable lifestyle that you guys are, you know, living, they get nothing. The artist get nothing, but his mother gets spoiled. And that really pissed me off. So now a lot of people are going back and digging through a lot of videos of him and Janice's, you know, interaction with each other. And it's very strange. Why, as a grown woman, would you kiss your son on the mouth? Their interaction is strange. He's also filming where you can see her body. Um, but the thing that pops out to a lot of people is the fact that she has on white nail polish. And we all know what Cassie said about how Diddy loves white nails for his freak-offs. There's also videos of Carisha in white nail polish as well. So Diddy has a lot of issues. I feel like, yes, he was definitely groomed um, by Andre Harrell, who was groomed by Clive Davis. But I also feel like his mother played a big part 
in the way he treats women, in the way he gets down. Everything about Diddy and Janice Combs is just straight up creepy. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Go ahead and make love. Oh, I did this nigga told me he wanted receipts. Let's start with your mother, nigga. Your mother got the receipts, nigga. Everything is in your mother name. That's the one who got the receipts. <laughs> Freshly dipped though. <laughs> All right, honey, y'all just saw the video of creepy Janice Combs and Diddy, you know, locking lips, and y'all saw her white nail polish. And when I watched them kiss, it reminded me of some controversy that Kim Porter got into back in 2010. If you guys remember, Kim Porter and Quincy had posted a picture of themselves kissing. And people wrote thank pieces, people drug him. And I wonder if, you know, she was kissing Quincy on the mouth because, you know, she watched Janice get down like that with Diddy. I don't know. But when I watched them kiss, it reminded me of all that controversy that went down in 2010 between Kim and Quincy. What do you guys think about all this? What do you guys think about the whole Jonathan Odie situation? Do you feel like everything he's saying is the truth? Do you feel like, you know, he's just going through, a, you know, mental issues? He's having a mental breakdown. You know, he's talking crazy. Or do you feel like truth is stranger than fiction? You know, and what he's saying is very truthful. And then how do you guys feel about the whole Janice Combs situation? Because a lot of people are really going back and looking at these interactions between Diddy and Janice. And it's making the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Bye.